Good morning, everyone, and welcome here at the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe at the Hanover Messe 2023. I invite you all to have a seat, have a drink. The, the hostesses here are very lovely, and they will help you right away. Up next, we'll be talking about high-performance heat exchangers for solid oxide fuel cells and electrolyzer systems. I would like to welcome to the stage the SMK Head of Business Development, Mr. Stefan Flugfelder. Please come to the stage. Hello, nice to meet you. So, uh, I welcome all of you. I am very proud to talk today about SMK and our high-performance heat exchangers for SOFC and SOEC application. Um, before I start my presentation, I will give an outline about what I am talking about. Uh, I will start with a short introduction about my person. Then uh, I will talk about some uh, important facts about SMK. Then we will go into our markets, the markets of SMK. And uh, then we go deeper in the SOFC, SOEC portfolio of SMK. Um, and then the next topic will be uh, the heat mix management and the knowledge of SMK um, in this area. And then we will talk about the HEX requirements uh, within SOEC, SOEC um, applications. And then what's our answer to these requirements? Uh, then uh, I will come up with some figures about the SMK heat exchangers. And finally, I will close with the scope of the engineering of SMK in this field. So, I start with a short introduction. My name is Stefan Flugfelder. I'm um, right now uh, about 12 years with SMK in different positions. I started um, as um, responsible for the production. Then I switched to the head of uh, research and development. And now I'm head of business development for the hydrogen business and also responsible for the innovation management within SMK. SMK is a company located near Stuttgart in the southern of uh, Germany. And this leads to the next slide. I will give you some key figures of facts about SMK. SMK is founded in 1950. And uh, we started with milling, grinding, and deep drawing, even for the household use, but then quickly changed into the automotive business and uh, grew there in this area. Uh, nowadays, we have about 450 employees and a revenue about th uh, 63 million euros in 2022. Um, we operate in two plants. Um, our headquarter is located in Filderstadt, near Stuttgart. Uh, there the administration, uh, research and development and prototype shop is located. And we have about 10,000 square meter of production area. Uh, the other plant is uh, located in uh, the East Germany, in Sachsen-Anhalt, at Berga. We have there at um, nearly the same um, uh, production area, about 10,000 square meters. Um, in both of these plants, uh, we have tool shops. So all of our stamping tools are made by ourselves. Because we are uh, uh, part of the uh, automotive sector, we are standardized about the all important um, yes, certifications. And since 2018, we are part of the Kai Shong Group. Carl, uh, Kai Shong is one of the uh, biggest commutator producers uh, for electro uh, motors within the world. And we have um, big advantages when it comes to international business through, our, uh, through this integration into the company. Now I go um, to, our, to the markets of SMK. It can be divided up in three fields. In the classical field of combustion engine, we are dealing with uh, control valves for exhaust uh, gas management. Um, we are big in heat sinks for cooling ammonia injectors. And uh, we are producing EGR coolers as well. In the field of e-mobility, uh, we are producing connectors, bus, barge, bus bars, and NVH products. And uh, last but not least, the field of energy which we, I want to go in uh, deeper in this presentation. Um, it's all about heat exchangers, gas control valves, and reformers. So now I will talk about the SOFC, SOEC portfolio of SMK. 
But before I go in detail to the products, I will give a short um, introduction about the field of application. When we talk about SOFC, SOEC, as we heard in prior presentations as well, there's a big advantage in e efficiency um, in this field of um, fuel cell systems. And, but the most important difference between uh, PEM and, for example, alkaline is the temper temperature of operation within the stack. Uh, SOFC, SOC applications work about uh, at a temperature of 700, 800, 900 degrees Celsius within the stack. And um, the balance of plant and the um, um, subsystems have to deal with these um, harsh um, requirements. Um, the heat exchanger uh, has to be able to, to run it at these high temperatures. And the heat exchanger uh, is very important in the BOP because uh, the energy within the exhaust gas has to be recuperated and transferred to the fresh gases which come to the stack. Um, this means this is pointed out here in the first uh, point. Then it comes to the reformers. Reformers is uh, a special feature within SOFC applications because another big advantage of SOFC is that it can deal with different uh, kind of fuel gases. For example, it's possible um, to send uh, methane to, uh, into an SOFC system, but prior it comes to the, the stack, the met methane has to be divided up in the reformer to get the uh, hydrogen free to can, to can be processed in the stack. And um, SMK is capable and, um, um, uh, yeah, in designing um, and uh, building up some uh, s these reformers using ceramic catalysts or um, even uh, catalytic coating. Um, the last position here on the slide is, is valves. And this is um, a uh, derivative from our automotive business. We have thousands of valves. Um, uh, in, in our uh, program that run on the streets uh, for EGR uh, reasons or for acoustic reasons. Uh, in, e in EGR application, there is some uh, back pressure within the exhaust system created, and these valves can be used with slight adaptions to be, um, to be part of SOFC system or even PEM systems. Now I come to our background at SMK and um, what we have done uh, regarding heat management in the past. We are big in uh, processing stainless steel. Uh, yes, that is necessary for high temperature applications. Uh, we are used to um, design parts that, have, um, that operate at high temperatures and because of this are thermally stressed. Um, you can see this on the left side. Uh, we produce some exhaust gas valves, heat exchangers, and heat sinks uh, for injectors, as I said, for ammonia. And um, in this field of um, heat management, we, we offer a, a widespread um, yes, possibilities. We can do the design, the simulation, the prototyping because of our, our prototype job in Filderstadt. We do validation, and um, in the end, we aim for the serial production. This is the aim uh, for all of our activities. Uh, we, want, we want to get um, a, a product that, uh, that um, fulfills the needs of the customer and uh, will be produced by ourselves in our plants. Then we come to the very high HEX requirements within SOFC, SOEC applications. As I said, the operation of the stack is about 700, 800, 900 degrees Celsius. These high temperatures, um, is, um, the heat exchanger has to face and he has to operate within these uh, temperatures. Um, on the other side, there is a corrosive atmosphere. Um, on the hydrogen or high concentration of oxygen, uh, the, uh, the heat exchanger has to operate in a high efficiency way. And on the other side, he has um, to have a very low pressure top because the pressure top is, um, means a pressure loss within the flow. And on the other side, this pressure loss has to be compensated by the blower. And this meets, means that there is an energy need uh, for the blower, which reduces the overall efficiency of the system. 
these uh, SOC, SOC applications or system are uh, designed to run for very long hours, uh, years, um, up to 10 years, and therefore the durability of the subsystems are necessary as well. So we are aiming for high durability, and uh, last but not least, the economics has to fit. We have to be cost effective in the way we produce. And our answer for these very harsh requests or requirements uh, can be seen in our design of the anode and cathode gas, gas heat exchangers we are producing. We have designed some counterflow blade heat exchangers with a, modul a modular uh, approach. So this means we have different sizes of heat plates that can be stuck in the um, side by side to form the core uh, of heat transfer. And um, this gives us the possibility to cover a wide performance range. And the pressure drop within our heat exchanger can be adjusted by the number of plates uh, inside the heat exchanger. And um, we have some standardization when it comes to the heat plates, but in the end, uh, the, heat plate, uh, the heat exchanger doesn't determine uh, the system um, size and um, architecture. So we have to face the needs of the customer, and we customize the interfaces, the sizes, and the positioning of the in and outlets. Uh, when it comes to the production, um, we are uh, we, we, we have a very robust and laser welded structure. All of the uh, welding seams you see on the, on the heat exchangers, and uh, a lot of them, are uh, performed with laser welding, uh, with online monitoring. And this leads, in the end, to a very cost-effective design. And we use very uh, cost-effective procedures for manufacturing even of the plates. And this makes, makes in the end, um, economically and price attractive um, product our, uh, in in area of the heat exchangers. Now I, I want to come up with some figures, which is most important for the customer. Um, our heat exchangers operate at temperature up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. We have a proved effectiveness of 95% uh, and above. It depends on the operation points, for sure. And um, each of these uh, heat exchangers, when it comes to the larger ones, can transfer 150 kilowatts per module at a mass flow at about 1,000 kilograms per hour. And the dimension vary from smaller heat exchangers up to very huge heat exchangers. And um, by the coupling of several heat exchangers of the big size, it's, all, it's, it's possible for us even to serve large-scale facilities. Now I come to the scope of engineering. As I said already, we have, um, we are, uh, we have, in, um, we have a customized design. Um, uh, to adapt the needs of the, um, of the customer. We do um, CFD and FEA, FE calculation for checking the design of our housing and the inner core. We do and provide testing and validation. Um, a big advantage, in my opinion, is the fast in-house prototyping. So when we found a design and fixed it with the customer, it is possible for us to build very quick up a uh, first sample then that can be checked within the original system of the customer. And uh, we also provide a service of system integration. Um, this means when the customer uh, wants us to integrate more like the heat exchanger, for example, um, the tubing, catalysts, reformers, or afterburners, or valves, it's possible to design a whole structure which is scope of delivery afterwards. And um, we, we did, and we will do in the, in the, in the future, uh, even some um, yeah, more special heat exchangers. For example, we designed a multi-stream uh, multi heat exchanger where two um, heat exchangers are coupled in um, one housing, and so we reduce the overall material uh, that is needed to build up the system. So, now I come to a summary, just to get all the point um, drawn together to one slide. What makes our heat exchanger special? In our opinion, they are special because they are resi resistant up to temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius. They are very intelligent and uh, a robust design. As space of our heat exchanger, we have high efficiency 
adaptable and scalable um, without limits by um, coupling of heat exchangers, and we have low pressure drops within the system. And this makes it, in our opinion, a very attractive product for our customers. So, and um, now I, at the end of my presentation, I want to thank you for your f attendance. And um, I will be very glad if a lot of you come to our booth in Hall 13 at booth 31. You can see our products in real, and we can talk to each other and um, think if we can do some collaboration in, in future. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation, uh, Stefan. Unfortunately, we don't have time to uh, open up the questions to the audience. So uh, I invite everybody to join you at uh, stand B31, I yes, think I saw yes, on the slide. Exactly. Perfect. Well, I think you'll uh, see uh, all of the people there. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Stefan. Bye bye.